My name is B Walk and welcome back to Copy Your Coin where I show you how to copy your coin in the fastest growing market in world history. Let's get it. Today I am going to be talking about various uh, aspects of the technical analysis of this market. We're here in the fresh part of July and uh, as I'm looking forward to accumulating and, and reaping some of the rewards of the uh, steady investing, I'm sure you are too. Kind of give you an idea what the street signs are, kind of what to be expecting here going into the final two quarters of the year, and some some pretty lofty expectations actually. So, without further ado, we're going to jump right into it. Of course, I'm going to ask you to do three things. I'm going to ask you to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that alert button so that you know when fresh content is out <laughs> from Copy Your Coin. Okay. Anyway, let's get into it. So as you already know, I already start out with the coin market cap, kind of get an idea. This is Coin Paprika, and you'll be able to see. I'll have all the descriptions, any any of the links that I use down below in the description, uh, so you'll be able to see that. But as you can see, the market is pretty much buoy buoy today. It's at 347 billion approximately. Bitcoin has been running 1.39 percent in the last hour, 19 percent in the last last seven days, 5.9 percent set. 5.97% in the last 24 hours. Certainly Bitcoin has been the whale here at 12,558. Uh, we've got Ethereum that has bounced, that was at closer to 300 a few days ago. Now it's bounced up to 311. So I, I suspect that's gonna continue to climb a little bit. XRP has gotten out of the 40 cents, but it's right there, right below it at 39 cents. And then rounding out kind of my, as you see my favorites, one, two, and three, four and five Cardano here down a little bit it's 78 cents and i'll I, at 0 0.078 cents and i'll address that in a second and stellar okay so this is down at about 10 cents i think it's got a high as 12 so we'll see if it's able to pull back up but as i said this kind of gives me my my big picture you can kind of see where the market is generally speaking i always check this on a daily basis before i do anything as we go to the charts we can see here right now is that we got bitcoin uh that is basically it's it's uh looking like it's doing a consolidation now i actually personally think this is a very healthy thing for the market i am a fan of not going skyrocket into the moon because that that's going to lead into a big crash what goes up fast falls down just as fast however what we've been doing in the last i'd say probably 10 to 12 days is consolidating that's a positive thing because as you see we're approaching the new highs i'm expecting to put in some uh gains here if we can get up above close above this this last peak right here so about as close somewhere around 13,000 if we can close above that then you feel comfortable that we're going to start to move higher we'll see uh, I think this is a pretty strong support right here as you can see the long wick so that basically meant that the candle fell all the way down to below 10,000 as you can see here however it didn't last long there's a lot of people who were having FOMO fear of missing out when it was right here that started buying right away and I imagine that's what you're gonna have coming here. It's gonna pretty strong support as we start to build, especially if it, it continues to do the move higher consolidation, move higher consolidation. And that again, that is healthy for a market. As we look lower, as we can take a look at uh, ADA or Cardano, if you will, that that chart is not as bullish. It certainly has is certainly still remaining here. Now I, I talked about I was gonna address that in a second. So what? What I really feel like is dragging Cardano at this point is not the competency of the leadership team. That's fine. It's just the fact that everybody's waiting on, waiting on this this uh, process of becoming decentralized. Where's Shelly? I know it's coming. You know, and, and as we all know, that Cardano takes their time putting putting things out together. But when they put them put the products out there, right? That's fine. Take your time. I don't want it to be done right, and I'm sure everybody agrees with that. Once I think Cardano gets that underway, I think you will find this move much higher. I think we'll start to climb easily above 12 cents and, and continue to move higher from there. I expect that to happen here shortly. I don't know when. Uh, I know that the test net is out, you know, and, and, and obviously Charles has been talking about it and saying that, look, this is not it's not a race or anything like that. But realizing that that's that's what the holdup is here in the technical pattern so that that's actually a rule for all of my traders out there it doesn't matter what the technical pattern is showing you if fundamentally the underlying financial instrument is not doing what it's supposed to be doing or it's not meeting expectations you're going to break that pattern as you can see we were going low we we're going higher lows and you know similar a little higher highs but it was basically going to spring got to this point 
here in the last part of June, and then it kind of sprung down. So we're we're sitting here right right above right right around the 200 day moving moving period average. Okay, which is about 70, 75. So we're a little lower than that right now, uh, like 78. So we're a little lower than that now, but I don't I don't suspect this will close there. It'll probably close a little higher. And we'll, like I said, we'll get back above here if we see some movement on that centralization front, decentralization front, if you will. Okay, so uh, if we keep on looking, we look at Ethereum, pull that chart up. That one's a little bit more like Bitcoin, so again, another another coin that i i certainly have in my portfolio i don't think it's a bad idea to have in yours it's a, a coin that i use to buy most of my altcoins anyway but it was a it's a coin that is valid and i think that ethereum has got a lot of got a lot of dApps on it a lot of developer apps a lot of a lot of uh companies looking to break into the blockchain are still using ethereum will will uh cardano take take over that spot it possibly could but their first things first they need to get decentralized first so we'll see what they do if they do that and get some other things they might be, they might take over the lead for ethereum so i think that's the first target to see if cardano becomes the developer app of choice as far as cryptocurrency for your needs globally so we'll we'll keep our eyes on that but again like i said as of right now i trade what the picture shows me and right now the picture shows me is a bullish trend in ethereum that's what it shows you <laughs> finally we're going to look at xrp here and you can see this one is a little bit more muddled again similar to cardano it's it's kind of going back and forth now i know that there's been some talk about this is going to be a financial payment system and they're creating some banks but i know also the, the possibility of people feeling that there's too much supply in the market uh, and that it could be manipulated that's possible we'll see and right now it's, it's kind of being held back as you can see it's it's certainly in uh, kind of like no man's land it's kind of i would say this is trendless so a consolidation phase we'll see what the next move brings us higher or lower i think it's positive that it's above the 200 period moving average though so we'll see we'll keep our eyes on that and let's see i want i did want to take a look at xlm here real quickly again one that has tried to get above the 200 period move average it was and then fell below so xlm is certainly in uh in a bearish trend like this is not one i'd be adding to at this point it's not constructive is d is is and quite frankly it's the other way it's, it's looking like it's going to move lower so we'll see what happens with that in long term but i wanted to get a quick video out of here to kind of give you an idea kind of what i'm looking at and what the street signs are right now Bitcoin, I think, is the number one play. So I'm, I am putting money into that. I expect this to go higher, much higher than what it went to about a year and a half ago. What was that? 2017, 2018, and Bitcoin climbed to almost 20,000. I think it's going to exceed that, and I believe that by the time it's all said and done, before we even get out of this year, it'll be higher than 20,000. So if you have some money, that would be my recommendation. But hey. Don't take my word for it. <laughs> you see what the trade is. You see what the charts look like. So it kind of gives you an idea. But anyway, so that's it for this part of the part of the uh, video. What I'll what I'll do next time is I'm going to talk about some of the fundamentals, some of the stories out there, kind of get get us an idea, of round out the picture, if you will. This is just a quick hit to get back out. I will see you next time on Copy Your Coin. Thank you for joining me.